This is the airport immigration gate. You must present a COVID-19 negative certificate to pass this gate. Only people who have been confirmed to be COVID-19 negative may proceed beyond this gate. I manage all my IDs and important documents on this single smartphone. I can access all necessary documents anytime as long as I have this. Smartphones are very useful. But what about in the next situation? What? what Oh no! Where is it? That's right. This man dropped his smartphone somewhere. He can't pass this gate without showing his COVID-19 negative certificate. W wait Wait a minute! T take my temperature! I don't have a fever! No, you must present your COVID-19 negative certificate. In the end, the man was unable to pass through the gate. Devices like smartphones are convenient, but when you lose them like this man did, or the batteries go dead or they break down, they become useless. There are also security risks if they are stolen and used maliciously. This inspired the idea for Hitachi's self-sovereign identity with PBI. Oh no! Where did I put it? I'll access my personal data store. PBI allows identification through biometric information, such as the finger veins, fingerprints, face, and iris. Prior storing of IDs and important documents on a personal data store allows easy access to documents whenever they are needed by simply scanning a part of your body on a shared device. So, I need to submit a COVID-19 negative certificate. The lost smartphone is still a worry, but at least the man was able to submit his certificate and pass through the gate. With PBI, a pair of a cryptographic public key and private key is generated from biometric information, and the public key is stored in an authentication server. Then the private key is deleted immediately. Biometric data cannot be recovered from the public key, and the biometric data is not stored anywhere. Furthermore, registered IDs and documents are stored in an encrypted state on the personal data store, and they cannot be decrypted without the PBI private key, which is regenerated from the biometric data newly captured from the person. It cannot be stolen and used maliciously. It is also free from other security threats, such as information leakage. The self-sovereign identity with PBI is not only useful when presenting a COVID-19 negative certificate at the airport. It can be used as ID when buying alcohol or to present a driver's license when renting a car. Prior storing of data on a personal data store will even allow the restoration of a lost device. We believe it will allow general purpose use in a variety of scenes. Devices such as smartphones are convenient. But when we become overly dependent on them, they may deprive us of our ability to even prove our identity, like the man we saw before. Your biometric information is what will prove your identity. This will become a standard concept of the future.